So um, that was just a little um, tryout, um, so more proof of concept. Um, what I wanted to achieve was actually to just make a little track or a little um, pattern basically only with the MOOC Mother 32 and the Chaos Pad. So to have like a really minimalistic um, setup that I can use on the road or whatever. So um, basically the um, little track consisted of um, four different um, tracks, so to speak. One, drum one of which is the um, drum track. Um, then uh, like a little pad kind of thing. Um, a little bleepy kind of sample and hold uh, melody. And finally, um, a virtuoso masterpiece, the um, amazing little melody on top of it. Um, so what I like to do is basically just briefly explain how I did all these little um, things and sequences. Basically, even though I have a whole lot of things wired up here, just really whatever um, I was using were only like the Mother 32 and the Chaos Pad. I have finally managed to um, link them via MIDI. So the um, the uh, Chaos Pad is the MIDI master. So the uh, clock speed, which was actually only 60 BPM, so pretty much half that in order to double the uh, recording time. Obviously not really double the recording time, but have like more bars in one pattern. Um, so that gave its um, um, sync clock over to the um, Moog um, Mother 32, which I then used first to create the, the drum track. So it's very simple. It's like three kind of drum sounds. It's a bass drum, a snare drum, and hi-hats. And all of these were created individually on the Mother 32. Um, so the bass drum, I'm just changing the camera here so maybe have the chance to really find out what I'm doing here. Yeah, so basically like, or maybe like this. That's probably easier. Okay, so I'm just briefly trying to recreate what I did on the, um, on the Moog. So basically the bass drum is no sustain, a short attack, um, a long delay. I guess I'm, I was using a sawtooth sound on that. Mix over to the BCO then. Um, no resonance, also the cutoff was, I don't know, maybe here. And then I was going down. So also cutting down all the LFO and then the influences on the, on the modulation. Yeah, this is probably the closest I'm getting just by quickly recreating it. Um, that's just basically um, the bass pattern, and it was just like a 16-step pattern with a um, with the option of just really um, based on the one and the five and the one and five and seven or anything. Um, the snare drum and the hi-hat were pretty. Um, Similar to each other, they are all both based on um, the noise. So I was changing the mix level to the noise, um, pretty much. Also up, uh, going up some octaves. And um, no, just no, the octaves don't play a role. Sorry, I'm just putting up the cutoff. Also a heart attack, no sustain, little delay. Um, and the, the sequence here used the, the ratchet feature, um, which is when you use shift and glide in order to make some double taps for the um, snare drum. And this was also extensively used for the hi-hat. And for the hi-hat, I was just um, going to high-pass mode, VCF high-pass mode, I guess, and a very short decay. Roughly, that would be the hi-hat sound. 
Um, all of these three were then individually recorded on the um, chaos pad. I'm just switching back the camera here. They were individually recorded um, on three sample banks on the um, chaos pad, um, bass drum, snare drum, hi hat. Um, and then they've been resampled to the fourth sample bank while using some compressor on it. So in order to get them a little tighter and also adjusted the volume of um, each of the um, parts to have like a proper um, mix of that. Okay, so this is how the um, drum sound came along. So it's all pure Mother 32. Uh, next thing was the um, pad kind of sound that I did here. I first thought maybe I would do it polyphonically, so by recording two individual sounds on the mother, um, like sawtooth sound with a um, two different notes that I would then record in two different sample banks and then mix them. Um, but I gave that up actually after I heard that just pretty much a, a pulse uh, modulated sound with like some slightly LFO modulation on the pulse width and a little reverb and delay added from the chaos pad did a pretty nice trick. So it's a delay is not too much of it hearable, but uh, audible, but um, yeah, the reverb really goes into like the stereophonic image of the sound. So and because I set the uh, chaos pad to only 60 BPM, so, um, so have the time, or no, I had twice the time to record a little sequence, so that was not just only a few notes, but yeah, that little sequence which repeats then over and over again. Um, if you would have set it to 120 BPM, you had more details in between, but you had like half the time for recording it. However, still the recording time of the cast pad per sample bank is limited to, I don't know, 13 or 16 seconds, which is usually enough, but yeah, if it's, if the art eight um, bars are, um, over earlier than the 16 seconds, then you're just done. So I'm, I halved down um, the um, BPM number. So next thing is the sample and hold kind of thingy. So, and that's actually based on a little tutorial of a, um, a guy called Rishab Rajan. Uh, I hope I pronounced it correctly. I guess he's from India, or at least of Indian descent. And he's done some really, really great um, tutorials on how to do stuff with a Moog. Just showing to the camera. I don't know if you just can see it. Otherwise, I put the link down in the descriptions. And he has done a little uh, tutorial called sound, and sound Design, Sample and Hold Melody on the Mother 32. So where he has a very simple patch, uh, which uses the um, assign feature, and um, uh, he assigned a, a random kind of output to the um, assign plug, and then rooted that in. And so, yeah, you can see this in his tutorial, which is really nice. And this is what I was using for the sample and hold melody, and then I was just using the Chaos Pads um, vocoder with a slight delay, I guess it was, um, to create that little vocoder-ish sound so to make it sound a bit more interesting. Yeah, it's, it's a vocoder and then a ping pong delay on it. So I also have some stereo signal on that one to have some a bit broader kind of sound in the mix besides the pad. And then finally, there was like a, a very, very simple kind of melody. As I said, it was not meant as a musical masterpiece. It's just more or less a proof of concept. It's the um, a very simple sine wave, uh, sawtooth from a mother, so there's just no cool things going on here whatsoever. Um, two things are actually a bit limiting here. So first, for my own personal reasons, I just wanted to really just use the mother as the only instrument. So I was using the little button keyboards here, which are a bit tedious to play around with. So like the, the rhythm of the melody is not like that super tight. Um, however, I think it has some kind of little charm to it. And secondly, I could not add any effects by um, the Chaos Pad. I'm, I was restricting myself to just using these two boxes here. So as this was my last sample bank, I had no other sample bank left where I could do some resampling. And um, 
right now if I'm just playing all the four tracks any kind of effect that I'm adding I don't know any kind of um, sound or, or delay or reverb would then affect all the others which I didn't want to so I'm just was really going for the um, tiny little um, basic sound which I guess on top of the um, pad just really does uh, a nice little job in this case here So basically, there's there's one sound obviously which wasn't created on the Mother 32, which was uh, the opening like a noisy swooshy thing, which is a built-in synth sound on the Chaos Pad. But as the restriction was only using these two devices, um, I thought it was just appropriate to use also these um, built-in sounds of the Chaos Pad. But that was the only part of it. So yeah, I thought maybe you would be interested how to do that because I was asking questions before and, and I really just didn't get to sync each other. Uh, finally, it worked. I, I actually cannot tell why it works now, but it works. And um, so if you have any questions to well, how I did it and why I did it and so on and so forth, just let me know. I'm doing my best to answer the questions. Um, thank you.